Alright, good to everybody back here again, and like I said, welcome back. I hate to cut off the music, obviously. Big fan of the 80s rock, but obviously we have to get right forward to our presentation with us today. And, and like I said, we have a fantastic guest. I'd mentioned it a couple times in our trade room going to the early afternoon with us today. Uh, today we have Jack Gleason, co-founder and moon room moderator of Major League Trading. Uh, so what Jack will be going over with you today is exactly his title, his his best six setups for trading the, the NADX. So... Essentially, to give a quick introduction as far as who Jack is, Jack is almost my age, maybe a year or, year or so older, about 25 years old, 25-year-old uh, trader out of Chicago, prop trading firm based in Chicago. Uh, Jack had got an, a young start to the market right around age 15. He began trading uh, throughout the equities market, and then, of course, focusing more so towards the futures and options markets as well. A uh, good friend of a friend of ours here as well at CTU, Tom Sosnoff, founder of Thinkorswim. So working with Tom, he opened up his own segment on the Tasty Trade Financial network uh, called Get Trading at 22. Uh, so all in all, Jack has been trading trading for a private family uh, office before starting his current prop fund. Uh, specializes in tech analysis and like I had said, he's the co-moderator of Major, Major League Trading. Uh, now Jack, are you there? And if you hear me talk. There we go. A little loud and clear there, Jack. I think you're all set. Okay, awesome. Just uh, making sure you can hear me, and then I'll bring up my presentation, and I guess we're ready to go after that. Can you hear me? Yep. Loud and Thank clear, you. Jack. Hello? Yep, Jack, we can hear you loud and clear. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm ready to go then. Take for the presentation. Yep, you're good to go. I think that you're sharing the uh, the webinar room on your screen. There you go. You're all set. All right. Cool guys. Uh, thank you all for coming here. You guys made a great choice to stay a little extra after the market. Today was probably one of the more exciting days, at least for the S&P. I mainly focus on uh, the S&P futures. It's just the main product I trade, but you know, it's been been a really, really tight range. It was extremely tight range this morning. Finally selling just after, you know, nine o'clock going in the European Open. Actually had a decent trend day down. So, you know, for those intraday traders able to capitalize on today's market moves, all props to you. But anyways, guys, today is going to be a uh, webinar talking about uh, my be best six setups. I use to trade Nadex. Um, you know, this screen you're looking at, that's actually a desk I'm sitting at. That's my little, my setup. Uh, just got three screen screen monitor, nothing crazy. Uh, but I turned two hundred and fifty dollars and eighteen grand in three weeks, and I actually I got a gift for those of you guys who are gonna stay to the end. I can provide you with the video where I actually document every single one of those trades, talk about why I took them, the reason I took them, um, etc. And I did this all in three weeks. Originally, I had decided to. You know, I just want to put a little bit of money in this new product. I was just testing out, and I thought, well, you know, I, I probably could turn 250 bucks into two grand pretty easily, um, just being really, really careful with my trades. And so this was kind of an experiment I did into the end of 2015. I'll talk more about that in a moment. But anyways, guys, my name is Jack Leeson. My website's Major League Trading, and this is my presentation on Nadex. Risk disclaimer. Uh, you guys are welcome to read this while I uh, talk about why risk is so important. But no representation is being made that the use of the strategy or any trading methodology will generate profit. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results or substantial risk of loss associated with trading and securities options on equities. Only risk capital should be used to trade. Trading securities is not suitable for everyone. Uh, disclaimer, futures, options, currency trading all have large potential rewards, but they also have large potential risk. You must be aware of the risk and be willing to accept that in order to invest in these markets, don't trade with money that you cannot afford to use. This website is neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy, sell, futures, options, or currencies. Um, just got to read that. CTFC rule 4.41. Don't want to make the government mad. Got to follow their rules, guys. So thanks for bearing with me while I read that. Uh, let's get into just a bit. Anyways, guys, this is uh, on the left-hand side. This is me and a friend of mine um, at my trade desk with a prop firm I had previously worked for. And then the right-hand side in the introduction, uh, you know, I had a, a show with Tom Sosnoff, who's actually the uh, founder of Thinkorswim. So if any of you guys use Thinkorswim software, love it. 
uh, think it's great. Well, you can get first uh, opportunity to actually educate a lot of people was with Tom. I had a show on his um, with him. It was called Get Trading at 22. We had an audience of over 40,000 people, and that was a really cool experience that I had at a pretty young age. Uh, like I said, I was only 22 when I first started that, so um, he's a big swinger in this industry definitely but uh, a little bit more about myself guys bought my first stock when I was uh, 15 when I was 18 I began trading derivatives which probably some of you have some experience trading whether it's options futures or binary options maybe even credit belt swaps if you're over there working at a bank desk in New York or something but in, at 18 I you know put a thousand I didn't have a lot of money I put a thousand dollars in a trading account it was an options trading account I ran into five grand in the first month for my dorm room of college and I thought wow this is it. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I want to do. This is what I, I'm sure we've all, you know, when we first started trading, you know, hit a couple of trades. We think we know what's going on. Well, at, at 18 years old, I thought I had my life figured out the first month I started trading. Um, but I didn't, of course. I proceeded to actually blow out that account, the first account I ever funded. But, you know, no sweat there. Uh, luckily, I was a young age and, you know, I was able to make $1,000 back pretty quickly in a normal job. But, uh, you know, it, it really instilled the passion that probably most of you now currently have, that the idea that I could make a living trading, you know, from my home um, without having to drive to work and making a good, good money while doing it. So just the idea that that was possible sparked an interest in me to constantly pursue the markets uh, throughout college. So I actually got an opportunity to study under a hedge fund trader at 20 years old in the Chicagoland area. Got my first job at a prop firm at 22. I also did an education uh, class with Tom Sawzup, like I talked about. So made a lot of had a lot of success early in my career. Pretty lucky for that. You know, it's uh, kind of one of those things where hard work meets opportunity. It creates a little bit of luck. That was uh, you know kind of my story. But in 2015, and this is what this presentation was about. Going into the end of December, like, you know, first, second week, I found out about this product and I'm like, well, let me check it out. And that's when I actually took $250 and 18 grand. Uh, and that was just at the end of the year. And then I went and withdrew that money and uh, went on a vacation in Naples with my girlfriend, which is that's what that photo is from. But this is just a quick little PL uh, graph of what that looked like. You can see that there was, uh, and every one of these trades is recorded. I know probably a lot of you guys are thinking, hey, 250 bucks to eight grand. I mean, you know, I know people have taken eight grand at 250 bucks, but, you know, this is, I call this like the reverse blowout. And this is really the highest rate of return I've ever accomplished in, uh, you know, three weeks. I've, I've never returned a higher rate. Um, but, you know, this sparked my interest in this product and got me to actually use it. It is now my second most traded product behind the S&P futures. Uh, but what I'm about to teach you guys is how binary options work, um, about binary options, how to make trading a yes or no prediction, and one of my favorite trading setups I use. So I think you know when traders get into trading, it's it, there, there's a lot of decisions that need to be made and managed on a constant basis. You know where do I get into a trade? When do I get out of a trade? How far should I let that trade go my direction? Especially if you're playing like traditional options where, you know, if that 200% winner can only always turn into a 300%. That's just always in the in back of your mind. I mean, I, I've traded traditional options and, and I know those emotions and just general emotions associated with trading. And really, that is completely different, in my opinion, than what you have with binary options, which really just make trading a yes or no prediction. There's no... Uh, if then what how to and you know how far you there's a max risk and a max reward upon entry with this uh, options product which is pretty cool um, but anyways guys I think binary options are the perfect product for a technical analyst I do consider myself a technical analyst expert um, it's really all I've ever studied when I first began trading didn't, like I was, you know, when I was actively trading, I bought my first stock when I was 15. I gave my dad like $500, like, Dad, like, I want to buy stocks. And he did it for me. But when I, you know, really began to get into options, I, I didn't have a lot of money. I was 18 years old. And so the only thing I knew that could, you know, really give me an edge is I had to be very good at what I did. And I had to have a very good understanding of the technical aspect of the market because I didn't have a million dollar portfolio that I could you know, make a living on by just generating maybe a 10% return of the year. My goal was to cr not just beat the market, but absolutely crush market returns. Um, 
And so binary options, you know, are really the only product I need that you can actually start with a small amount of capital and crush market returns. I mean, that, that's my opinion, uh, just because I've been able to do it. I think it's really hard to uh, start with a small amount of money and make those kinds of returns in traditional options uh, or, or stocks and even futures, I mean, with the leverage. But uh, with binary options, I, I believe it to be uh, easier than the rest. Not to say that it's uh, easy in general. Obviously, trading will always be a difficult journey, but I do believe that this is the best product. So I'm talking about it here today. It breaks down trading into a simple yes or no answer. And some of you are probably thinking, what do you mean yes or no answer? What does that mean? Well, all of that means is are we going to be above a certain strike price or are we going to be below? So I actually want to bring in a study I, I had created. Um, this is a custom study, and I'll just kind of use this to explain the ADX binary options. Each one of these red lines represents a Nadex strike. So each one of these red lines are something I could say, are we going to be above? Yes, or are going to be below? Uh, no. So all you're doing is you're determining by the end of the day, is price going to be, so at these different strikes, say for 2166, will we be below 2166? If you can sell that contract for $50, it's going to be a risk one to make one. If you can sell it uh, for 64, it, it'll be even better than that. So, and, and the same thing on the upside. So, if you picture all of these strikes here, which this is a custom study I created that you know gives me them on the thinker swim chart. It's all about coming up with levels that of support and resistance that will provide the market an opportunity to either be above or below. And then, if you're right, double your money, which is kind of crazy. Uh, you just can't do that with normal options. Also, there's a time exit with binary options. Sometimes when I used to trade traditional options, I would uh, I would catch myself um, holding on to positions maybe longer than I had initially originally uh, anticipated when I entered the position because you know being a trader, a swing trader of options, you will you know just sometimes you plan on hold for two days, you get a little greedy, you hold for four. What I actually like about binary options is that I'm forced out of the position uh, you, at the end of the day if I'm trading the daily expiration. So I'm not eager to hold maybe past my target and be greedy on it. That, that's another thing that I believe you know has psychologically helped me to excel in this product rather than a traditional options market. Now I'm hearing, I've seen a couple of comments in here that the sound is breaking. I do apologize. I'll try to talk a little slower. I am from Chicago, I do speak fast. Um, so I'll try to try to slow it down a bit, make sure that you guys are fully understanding me. But once again, I apologize about the audio. Um, and the other thing that's cool about this product is you can actually start an account with as little as a hundred dollars. So um, I, you know that's that was kind of what made me want to do. I mean, if you want to open a day trading account in the markets, you're going to need twenty five grand if you want to day trade options or if you want to day trade stocks, you need twenty five thousand dollars. Uh, you can take you know three trades a day, but you can't really day trade unless you got 25 grand. So th just the, the fact that I could fund an account with 100 bucks, I mean, I ended up throwing 250 bucks in it was just so I was like, oh, well, you know, that's not bad. I'll, I'll try it out. I've never traded them before, um, but I'm willing to do it because it's just a small amount of money and uh, I'm a trader, so I take risk. Anyways, guys, a little bit more into uh, what binary options are in the products, and then I'll give you guys a little gift for those of you who are currently staying here. Um, so Nadex binary options are limited risk contracts based on a simple yes or no market proposition like will the markets go up by the end of the trading week. Binary options offer traders ways to trade the market's most active stock indices, commodities, forex, event, and Bitcoin markets with relatively low collateral. Literally, uh, orders can be placed with as little as $50, and commissions are extremely low compared to traditional options. We'll go over that. Um, binary options are going to be cash-settled contracts that settle with an all-or-nothing payout left till expiration. So if you're correct on your assumption and you're correct on your trade, you get paid the total value of the contract, which is 100 If the condition is not achieved and you are wrong on the trade, the settlement is zero. So at the end of the contract, 
you were either given you were either given no money if you are not right or a hundred dollars if you are correct and that is per individual contract trades can also be closed prior to expiration to either take profits or cut losses just like other uh, trading product that you can get in and out of um, on the right hand side that is actually what a nadex order ticket looks like um so 1947 in this specific case the the market was trading in 1947 what you're doing here and you can see it says the uh, index is actually at 1948.3 so what you're doing here if the market just stays sideways the rest of the day goes up a little bit or even down a little bit but ends above 1947 i can buy this contract for 60 dollars. that would mean in this instance the risk is 60 dollars. the reward is 40 but as long as it goes sideways, if it goes up a little bit, even down a little bit, I'm going to get that entire reward. Now, if it moves against me, I have the choice to either trade out of it or let it expire and then take the full loss upon expiration. Um, so if any of you guys are interested in Nadox, I'll just give you guys a quick opportunity to um, go ahead and put your email in and you can open an account using that link for it as I move into the next slide. So why Nadex? Two benefits of trading binary options. There's going to be limited risk. The maximum amount of money you can lose on every trade is your original investment. Well, that sounds silly, right? I mean, the maximum amount you can lose on your original investment. I mean, isn't that everything? Isn't that stocks? Well, the difference here is you're trading on leverage. And there's a formula in the market that leads to outsized returns. And it comes down to one leverage, two signal strength, so the skill of the individual trader and the strategy they're using, and three, the amount of times the trades can be executed over any given period. So that's really the formula that allows you to produce outsized returns. Leverage, signal strength, and the amount of executions you can take on or over any given period of time. Now, if you have leverage and signal strength, but you only take a trade every six months, you know, you necessarily, you can't really you know, do extreme performance in the market. But if you got leverage signal strength and you can make trades every day, then you're really kicking it. And that's what allowed me to turn $250 in 18 grand in three weeks. I mean, I just can't do that in another product. It's for me, I mean, I, trust me, I've tried in traditional options. It's, it's really hard. It's very, very hard. Um, but also guys, the low collateral required Binary options are going to be between zero and a hundred dollars. So, you know, you can be placing trades with relatively low amounts of money. So probably a lot of you in here have never traded uh, binary options, but you're thinking, well, if I can trade with zero to a hundred dollars, and of course you can go all the way above that. You can do that in multiples. I mean, I have trades, the bottom of the right hand on the screen. This is a trade I actually had the other week and I recorded it, put it on YouTube. That's an $18,000 profit. By the time the position closed, it was over $20,000. I threw it on YouTube. And that trade on the bottom right-hand side of my screen is actually the largest trade in Nadex probably ever, but at least on YouTube. Um, so that's an, a $20,000 profit trade in a single day. I threw that one on YouTube. And I, I, I haven't seen or heard of a bigger trade, a live trade on Nadex on YouTube. So that's kind of cool. But like I said, you know, once you size up, you start getting used to it. You can obviously, you know, trade larger size. Um, but short-term contracts, binary expirations are also going to have, uh, they're going to have expirations ranging from 20 minutes to a week. And so, you know, like I said, you can take, uh, instead, like when you're trading traditional options, the market is kind of deciding for you what you get to do. You know, it tells you, you know, we only have one expiration and, and uh, you know it's the third Friday of every month. It's called options expiration. That's when the month is expired. Or you can trade the weeklies. But with with binary options, I have as many choices as I want. I have every 20 minutes, every hour, at the end of the day, and every week. So I'm able to structure the trade exactly around the price levels I want to trade. I'm a technical expert. I want things. Uh, I want as many options as possible. I mean, that's democracy, right? I mean, that's a free market. And, you know, this is kind of a free market product in that in that sense. But um, my favorite part about binary options is, you know, when you enter into the contract, what your profit or loss will be based on where price is. How many times have you guys 
who tra- I mean, how many guys, first of all, how many of you guys have ever traded traditional options? Because I know there's, you know, a few of you traders in here that probably are options traders, you've dabbled in it. Um, so one of the things, I don't trade options anymore, but I used to. My biggest intraday gain and loss are both in options. Um, they're both over six figures, and I'm, I'm not even proud of either of them because I was taking a lot of risk at the time. But one of the things I never liked about traditional options is I could be right on price but not be paid. And that bothered me. It bothered me to the, that I could be right on price and not get paid. I remember I played a fossil earnings. It might have been four years ago now. The stock dropped 10%. I owned puts. I was up like nothing. And I was like, wow, I guess this isn't as good of a deal as I thought it was. The coolest part about binary options, I know that based on where price is, how much I'm making or how much I'm losing, period. No guesswork. Removing the Greeks. Removing that equation. I'm not able to compute delta, gamma, theta, vega on the fly at the same time trying to come up with the trading scenario that would be profitable in my favor. I want to simplify trading. And that's what's really led to a lot of my successes. Breaking, taking out the noise and simplifying the trading. Now, price is king. I teach price action. In my opinion, binary options are the best product for price action traders. It's just that simple. Um, so, like I said, if, if you know, I'm probably you guys are probably interested to at least demo this out. So that's a demo link above if you guys are interested in doing that. Um, <clears throat> let's go into the cost structure. Not only is it a great product to trade from a tactical expert standpoint, but the cost structure is incredible. Uh, trade. So we're going to go over that right here. I'm, I'm just comparing to Scott Trade. I'm not pick Scott Trade. Uh, but they're a pretty, pretty wide-known broker. And I actually took this screenshot on the right-hand side right off their website. Um, so with Nadex, trading lots 1 through 10, so if you're buying 1 through 10 lots, it's going to be $0.90 cents a side. And it's going to get capped at 9 bucks. So as soon as you trade more than 10 lots, uh, like in that previous trade I showed you with like a $18,000 profit, I had over 300 Lots that trade cost me nine dollars. If I want to buy 300 lots in the spy, um, and with Scott Trade with this formula, it's going to be a seven dollar plus a dollar 25 a contract all the way up to 300. So, I mean, you know, by, by eliminating all commissions past 10 lots, it really brings down the commission cost of trading. So, like I said, lots 11 and above are going to have no additional fees. Settlement fees one through 10 lots are going to be capped at nine bucks. And uh, expiration time, so on the settlement, so when the, the contract closes, there's also a fee. So to open the contract and to close the contract, there's a fee. So it's at round trip, it's going to be $1.80 per contract, capped at $9, even if you start trading size like I have. Um, but expiration times are going to be given in Eastern Standard Time, so that's you know important to know. I mean, a lot of trading is done Eastern Standard Time. New York's kind of the capital of finance for the Americas, at least. Um, spreads are where the market makers are going to have their edge, and uh, bids are always 50. I wouldn't, I wouldn't shouldn't say always, but uh, throughout the day, depending on if I'm trading the dailies, they've actually increased their size since um, since I created the slideshow. But I, I see contracts posted all the way up to 350. So there's a lot of liquidity in here. The other thing is, guys, uh, I don't know how many of you guys have ever experienced like getting your orders front run by market ordering. Uh, traditional options contracts say if, if you throw a 50 lot out there and you know maybe a product that's not traded a ton you're probably going to get front run especially if it's a market already that there's no high frequency trading picking your orders front running them in nadex which is kind of cool i mean i've actually run into that problem like i said i worked on a prop desk and you know when you're trading 60,000 shares a day you kind of notice you know bids and offers disappearing as soon as you send out market orders it's a little annoying but back to traditional options guys one of my favorite quotes here guy in the bottom Bernard Baruch for any of you guys who know or read old speculators uh, Jesse Livermore has quoted him a few times in some of his books if you guys know Jesse Livermore and uh, a couple of the books he wrote great stuff but uh, one of my favorite quotes by this guy if a speculator is correct half of the time he is hitting a good average even being right Three or four times out of ten should yield a person of fortune if he has the sense to cut his losses quickly on ventures where he is wrong. All right. Simply put, let's go back to kind of what Nadex is and how it works. Like this is a custom code I've created for my trade room members. But every day, 
all you're doing with Natus is you're deciding upon each individual strike, which all will be traded at different prices based on the relative value of the underlying instrument, if we're going to be above or below those strikes. So, I mean, technically a monkey should be right half the time. If he's just up or down, up or down, right? So with a little bit of knowledge, some risk management skills, I really believe that you can stack this stuff in your favor. Four, thir four things a person is going to need traditional options are delta, gamma, theta, vega, volatility versus historical volatility. Now I'll tell you what, if you can do that on the fly while at the same time coming up with a price pattern support resistance trade that you want to do, hats off to you. I am not the biggest math expert when it comes to computing all those things, I and mean, that is really based on a mathematical module called the Black Scholes module, written by a Nobel Prize winner. Now, I consider myself intelligent, but I am not that smart, so I just can't compute that stuff on the fly. I like breaking options down, keeping it simple, just telling myself if I'm going to be above, I know I'm going to be right. It's, I'm, I, you know, I'm not getting. I'm not getting faded out. I'm not getting the time just wiped off my option. I just say, if it's above, I'm going to get paid $100 on this contract. And if it's below, I'm not going to get paid anything. Keep it simple. I want to focus on the price patterns. I want to focus on support levels, resistance levels, and the momentum of the market. Um, I think people trade traditional options because everyone's kind of doing it. Options trading is cool. The brokerage houses push it. It's probably, you know, for most brokerage houses, it's probably the most profitable um, instrument for traders to trade because you know options traders are act you can put in an eight-legged strategy and guess what they're gonna ting you on every single one of those eight legs and hit you with all sorts of commission structures so options have really been pushed amongst us retail traders and I mean a while ago I kind of fell into that uh, I don't I don't trade traditional options anymore but I used to like I said I've, I've had both a six-figure gain and loss in options which still to this day are my biggest gains and losses so I know what it's like both the pleasure of having a huge winner and what it t what it feels like to just get your butt kicked. I know what that's like. And I just feel like people are pushed into traditional options. And, you know, I'm here to kind of show you guys that there is another way to go about doing this stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, so, you know, what, right here I've actually compared the ES futures, the, the options on the ES futures, to a Nadex strike in, in this instance. So... We're looking at the 21 day strike in the SPX for this specific. Now these screenshots were done the exact same day and I'm gonna show you the math breakdown on this. So 2120, the bid here on that contract, 350 by six on the offer. So multiply the cost of the options. So if you guys don't know how futures options work, they're actually not times 100, they're times 50. So um, it's, so 50 times 175, it's gonna be, it's gonna be $300. So it, it's 175 by $300 is what it's going to cost to make this trade. Oops. The price needed for a 100% return on investment on this product on a 2120 call at this point in time was a 14 point move in the S&P 500 or the ES. It was a four, you needed a 14 point move to double your money in this product. If you bought the 2120 call, you needed the market to trade to 2032 to return the money to your account. So let's talk about making trading a simple yes or no answer and the commission comparison between the two products. One lot, so if, if I were going to just buy the S&P 500 2020 there, let's see if I have it. So you can see 2120, oh, I'm skipping through here. Mouse is a little sensitive. The 2120 strike in Nadex, which you can see I actually bought for this, all I needed was a two-point move to double my money. So a 14-point move in the SPX or a two-point move in Nadex binary options to receive 100% return on my capital. Also, the commission comparison here. Open and closing a 54 lot in traditional options is going to be $74 per side based on Scott Trades, uh, based on Scott Trades commission structure that I had screenshotted previously, which is seven dollars plus a dollar twenty-five per contract. Now, opening and closing a fifty-four lot in Nadex is going to be nine dollars. One lot in traditional options, based on the data from uh, Scott Trades platform, eight twenty-five. One lot in Nadex, ninety cents. Look at that price difference there. 
All right, so let's get into more meat and potatoes of this. I'm going to show you guys a trading setup. This is a setup I use uh, when the market is trending, specifically for the long side. It, it only triggers about like once every 10 days. More active markets, you'll have it, you know, maybe once or twice a week. But right now, it's about once every 10 days, which is enough for me um, because I have six different setups. This is one of them. So really, if I can just get one of these to trigger every single day, that's it. That's all I need to actually place trades so the trigger guys we're going to go into the setup here get your pen and paper out turn off yourselves you know stop reading your email if you're reading it pay attention to this because this could potentially change your life i mean this is this these are the things these are the setups that i use to create the returns that i have so this is going to occur on days when the market is trending the first thing we want to look for is a gap all right gap up gap down don't matter then we're going to look for a trigger. So trigger is going to be the close of the third 15-minute bar. We're going to have one, two, three 15-minute bars. After the third 15-minute bar, all I'm saying and all I'm asking is are they all red or are they all green? All that's telling me is that price is obviously continuing in one direction off the open or the other. Once I've decided that we have all red or all green bars, we're going to draw the low to high. Anyone know what a 50% retracement is? You guys go ahead and type in yes, just a Y in the thing. Who knows what a halfway back is? Who knows what Fibonacci's are? All right. All you're going to do is you're going to draw a low to a high, a high to a low, and you're going to buy the buy or sell the closest Nadex strike to the 50% retracement. Okay. So if you don't know what 50% retracement is, we're going to go. Anyways, this is that great setup. Mean potatoes, guys. Here it is. We got a gap up one, two, three red bars. What are we looking for next? A 50% retracement. 1933, the blue line. All a 50% retracement is, and I teach a little bit more about this in my course, is however far we travel divided by two. So if the high is 1943, the low is 1923, you know, it's 20 points, 20 divided by two is 10. You know, 1923 plus 10 is 1933, and then there's a tool that does it for you. So you don't actually have to do the math on the fly, although it is pretty simple math. Um, so that blue line is going to represent the 50% retracement. When price gets to that level is when I decide to buy or sell a Nadex contract that all, the, all my bet is is that we will be below that level, that that 50% will act as resistance. And when it does, I anticipate... The market to stay below that level and if i pay fifty dollars for it my reward is 50 so i'm doubling my money on that trade now you're going to have strikes all across the board in nadex for you to trade on these were all the strikes we had today depending on volatility the strikes will either be wider or lower but you can see there's a ton of options for you to trade let's go to the next slide same setup to the upside gap up one, two, three green, look for the 50% retracement. That's your entry. 1902, all you're saying is the market will be above that level. Boom, trigger and go. Same setup, different instrument. So this actually works on stocks as well, which is kind of cool. Same setup, different instrument here. We have a 50% retrace. I'm sorry, we have a gap down. We have one, two, three red bars. Pull that 50% retracement up. Wait for that entry. That's a 10, 12.8 entry. As soon as we get up there, I place a trade that says, I anticipate us to stay below. I don't know if we're going to go two points or 20. I'm just saying we're going to be below. And if we're below, I double my money, which is huge. huge. I mean, if you're trading a traditional option, then you're worried about the exit, you know, the maximum amount of percentage gain you can get. I know that regardless of what the market does all day long, if it can go down, up, sideways, left, right, you know, it can do anything. If it's below that level, if it's below my strike, I win. That's it. It really eliminates a lot of the confusion, I think, that gets associated with regular trading. Um, so what I'll do, a little more in the details, uh, I'll, I choose a cl closest strike to the 50% retracement for for the binary options. Then, I'm, there's, so there's time strikes, right? I get to choose, do I want to wait till the end of the day? Do I just want to wait a couple hours? Well, what I'll usually do is um, I won't buy contracts with less than 45 minutes till expiration. So I'll go an hour to two hours out on one contract and spread my risk amongst another contract 
two hours out. Okay. You guys get that? So I've actually created, and I've talked about, I mean, I got, I got a genius working for me and he creates all these super cool indicators um, that help, help me kind of place these trades. I mean, let's be honest, it, it's hard to stay focused trading. So what I've done is I've just automated the process. I mean, you talk about trading and automation. If, if you're not moving into the automation area uh, and you're not helping, you know, signals, you're defining, you got to define your setup. So I define my setups, then I create automation signals on those setups so I can, you know, pay attention to more things at once. That's what, uh, you know, our, the younger generation is doing. We're moving fast, right? So I've created this indicator. It's actually really cool. It's a custom indicator that will show up on the close of the third 15-minute bar. It actually does exactly what the last trade setup I just talked about. It tells me exactly when it's going. So it's going to tell you me the trade setup, either if it's long or short, it's going to give me a stop as well as an entry. And then the exit can be based on time or price uh, or a price target. So let's move into what that looks like. It's pretty cool here. So one, same setup. So once again, we're learning to say, you can do this manually, guys. And uh, th that what's cool about this indicator is this indicator actually works on stocks too. It doesn't just work on the ES. We have one, two, three 15 minute bars, then a green thing. It says MLT chart trade long. So that tells me, it tells me target buy near 2049 quarter literally tells me that 2049 quarter was actually the exact low here and then it gives me my stop which is the low of the day so just tell me exactly what I need to do and I just kind of follow the algorithm same thing here charge trade triggered long target by 2086.50 let's take a look at 2086.50 right there exact low next slide you can see we trade that level go up dip in just two ticks and then trade higher. And then what I'll usually do is I'll exit the trade um, either right near the highs or hold it all the way into the close of the day and just let time take me out. Same setup, different day. You can see this is it. This is where it gets triggered long. This is the slideshow after. So like I'll use the negative 23% profit target, which I teach. If you guys, I don't know, you guys are familiar with FIBS. I saw a lot of you guys answered yes. Some of you guys answered no, that's fine. I, I'll teach you guys that stuff. Um, but what I'll look for is a negative 23% profit target if I'm looking for a price target. So the 50% will be my entry. The negative 23% profit will be my target. So like I have this highlighted here. If the trade comes down, target buy near 21.12.50. You can see 21.12.50 trades, and we move up into that profit target, and then it the trade. Simple enough. But anyways, guys, putting ideas into action in what I actually do every single day. Um, what you're looking at on my screen, this is another study I have written. Uh, it's uh, a study I update every single day. On the left side. All of those bubbles represent different Nadex strikes where I can place a trade to uh, make the assumption or market trade that say will be above this level or below at the end of the day. Update that every day for my trade remembers. I also am creating a trade plan every day. For those of you guys who have been trading a while but you're not taking it seriously, you're not coming in, you're not creating yourself a plan, you're going to make it a little harder on yourself to be successful. I do think it's important to plan out what you're going to do so you don't act on impulse. Are any of you guys guilty of chasing the trend, selling a low, buying a high, literally just based on emotion and no setup whatsoever? How many of you guys are guilty of that? I'm guilty of that. I mean, I totally, this is all I did when I first started trading. I couldn't wrap around my head why every time I bought or sold the market did the opposite. And then I realized I wasn't even trading with a plan. I was trading on complete emotion. Okay, so if, if you're guilty of that, this is going to be a huge help to you. Creating a trade plan every day is what I do. Actually record this trade plan. It's about five to eight minutes. It's, it's not a serious amount of homework, but you do have to have a plan. Know the levels of support and resistance ahead of time. Plan your trade out. You don't need to take a trade every day. That Your job as a trader is not to actually physically trade every single day. It's to be right. Nothing else matters, right? Being aware of market moving economic news. Now, I don't trade off news, but I do know that it's important to know when the news is coming out because the news will provide liquidity to the market, which will move the market in the direction most likely of the general trend. 
Um, and you also just need to be aware of, you know, things like that happening. So when the market drops $120 and, or 120 points and you didn't know that breaks had happened, you should have some stops in. Um, formulated opinion of trend. These are all things I'm doing every day. These are things that make me successful. These are things that can make you successful. So every day I create a trade plan and then I give you guys on the right hand side, this is a, a study that I've had created. It gives me the value areas. Yesterday's high and low, overnight high, overnight low, settlements, um, and then all of the pivot trader floor pivot pair points. So very important. And, and what I do is I'm just looking for an alignment of these levels. And then I use them to kind of coordinate a plan of where will we be above and where will we be below tomorrow. And then I place that trade. So why traders fail? They're going to trade products that they don't understand. They don't know the exact max risk or the exact max reward. And that creates psychological confusion. These are maybe some things that you guys have experienced um, that you do need to eliminate. You don't define your setups. Lagging momentum indicators. I have price indicators, but people, lagging momentum indicators, not a big help in my opinion. They always tell you what previously happened, not what could potentially happen. Uh, they're always just telling you it's, it's a lagging indicator. It's a momentum indicator. It's what how good the momentum was before. That's how you get the market thrown in your face. A lot of people react to price rather than planning a trade ahead of time. They chase up, chase down. They lack tactical skills. These are reasons traders fail. Okay? The question is I have for you, are you willing to take the steps to change your trading habits for increased profits? That picture on the right-hand side of my screen I'd like to draw attention to I've read every one of those books, every single one. None of them ever helped me make money. I'm obsessed with the markets, so I read everything I get my hands on. I attended tons of these webinars, but really the first thing that got me ahead of any game was studying under some other professional and watching videos, video products. That's probably why you guys are all here. You're a visual learner. I love reading, but I'm really, I don't pick up a lot from reading, but I'll still do it because I always end up bettering myself. Um, there's four steps to trading profitably. You gotta trade a product with the risk and reward known at entry. Eliminate psychological mistakes and reduce complexity. Define setups that will occur every single day of trading. Execute those based on price and ignore the noise of indicators. Get rid of all that stuff. I started with strategy in December. I took $250 and over 18 grand. I recorded Every trade, and you can view all of them. So for everybody who stayed here today, I'm going to send you that video just to motivate you, just to get you pumped up. Uh, one of the first things that ever got me into trading and made me want to do it, I saw a trader take two grand and a hundred grand six. I was like, wow, wow, that's awesome. I want to be able to do that. Um, so there's six setups that I actually teach. Today I showed you one of them. These are the setups I used to achieve over a 5,000% return in 13 days. The proprietary setups are the halfway back, bully, the dive, the leg start, flunk, and the charge, which I just showed you that actually has an indicator built in with it. My best six setups to trade Nadox is a course that I have built. Here's what you will get in my master course. It's the six setups I use to trade Nadex. I keep a piece of paper on my desk that's printed out with every single one of these setups. Literally keep it right on my desk so I never lose sight of it and I always know what I'm getting into when I'm taking a trade. You're going to learn discipline to focus on the one product that pays the most, strategies to simplify your trading, how to eliminate psychological mistakes and stay focused. You're going to get a real world daily plan to define, execute, and success at your trades, a plan created by me. The best part about it, this course is actually only 97 bucks, and you can get it here at MLTNADX.com. We're going to offer it to the first 50 traders only on demand immediately, okay? But after you buy, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to print out the six setups. It's going to be the information you receive in the course. Keep it on your desk. Like I said, I did this all with six setups, and I want you guys to learn the setups that I use. Plan your trades using these setups Keep a journal of the setups you take and track your results. Remember to watch the MLT Morning Trade Plan videos, which I'm going to send to you every day for a month. And don't forget before every trade, ask yourself, what is the trend? Where is the major support and resistance? What is your risk reward? You're going to learn a simplified way to get these answers here at MLTNADX.com. But I have even more, because you guys stayed all the way to the end. I'm going to give you the MLT proprietary charge trade indicator, which is $197.
You're going to get the course, which is a $497. You're going to get live trading videos of tens of thousands of dollars in profits. I'm not just anybody up here talking about Nadex and binary options. I'm actually the trader on YouTube that has the biggest trade, the biggest live trades on YouTube. So nobody on YouTube, maybe there's somebody out there I just don't know about, but nobody has larger profits on YouTube than I do, which is kind of cool. You're going to get all, all of those live trading videos with tens of thousands of dollars in profits that break down the psychology and the reason I've taken those trades. You're going to get an ES trade grid chart trading software tutorial, one month of the MLT morning trade plan, and this is a lifetime membership access course. The total value of all of this is over $3,288, and your deal today and only today is $97, bucks, and you can go to MLTNADEX.com. All right, that's MLTNADEX.com. Can you use this plan on Options Express? Options Express does not have binary options. The link I provided above, and I can throw it in here again, you can, this is where you're gonna set up your demo account. You need to, you need to set up a demo account through that link, and then you can begin trading binary options. MLTNADEX.com, guys. Let's see this here. Oops. Sorry, I didn't have that web link in there. MLTNADEX.com. Michelle, I will exit the trade early, but I've also taken total loss and let the position expire. It all depends on the trade. MLTNADEX.com, guys, it's $97, and you literally get all of this. This is the best deal I've ever offered. Foss, you asked me to come in with a flaming hot deal, and that's what I've done, and it's never going to get offered again. Is there any questions on the course regarding my trading style, etc.? Like I said, guys, it's going to be six setups to trade Nadex. You're going to get the proprietary charge trade indicator included. I have a lot more. You're going to get live trading videos with over tens of thousands of dollars in profits. An ES trade grid with chart trading software tutorial. One month of my morning trade plan, which literally is worth the entire course alone. If all this course did was just introduce you to the product, that could potentially change the way you trade a product that you can literally open an account with less than $200. If all this course did, it would be literally just worth that. All it is is 97 bucks, and really my hope is that you guys actually start to learn a ton of this information and you wanna stick around and learn more from me because I have a lot to offer and with this course, it's a great way for you to get your hands on an incredible piece of information material and start adding a completely new way to trade to your style. Can I defer the one month plan in the later of the year? Um, we can do it, it's just you'll have to remind us, Anthony. Got the UPS guy here. Could I sign up and not start till October? Yeah, you can sign up and not start till October. What we'll probably do is uh, just just send 
send us an email after you sign up with your confirmation and then go ahead and let us know that you want to do that you know whatever your deferred date is the registration URL is MLT nadex.com guys this is over three thousand dollars worth of value for 97 bucks it's just unbeatable I have literally tens of thousands of dollars of live trading videos I'm the largest nadex trader on YouTube I'm the guy who's made this product huge you're gonna want to learn the strategies I have to teach and you're gonna want to be a part of the trade warning trade plan because that alone is totally worth it literally just one of these things I'm offering you all of them is worth the 97 bucks it's 97 bucks guys you really cannot beat that deal for most of you 97 dollars is probably one losing trade But this will be $97 on a winning trade. Hmm. Uh, Ronald, if you have any questions, did anyone else have a problem signing up? Support at MajorLeagueTrading.com, Ronald. If you please just email over your problem, we will get it fixed. I don't know if anybody else had a problem signing up. Ronald, what does it say? The sign-up place is MLTNADEX.com. Maybe www. Maybe try a www. Sometimes with site security these days, site securities totally change on the internet. Uh, so try that link right there, www.mltnadex.com. Got it ready for the challenge. Where is the sign up place? What is the best platform for this type of plan? Um, what, do you, what do you mean by best platform? What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to sign up for at least a demo account on Nadex, which can be done right here in this link below. And then the course is mltnadex.com. So if you don't already have a Nadex account and you want to get a demo, click that link I just posted in the chat. If you're looking to buy the course, it's mltnadex.com. Today, only 97 bucks for the first. Um, why can't you choose Canada? You cannot use Nadex does not work in Canada because of the regulations. But there is other binary option brokers. The best, the best binary, the binary broker we recommend is Nadex. They're backed by multi-billion-dollar uh, financial groups. So, MLTNadex.com is where you're going to get the course, though, guys, and you'll find all of the information in the. There, and then you can hit us up on our email if you have any questions. But for those of you who join, I'll uh, see you guys in the trade room. No, it doesn't, Anthony. Not at all. Commissions are all the same. <laughs> uh, yeah, Canadians cannot use Nadex because of the regulations. Sorry, Canada. Oh, Canada. But you can you can look at other binary option brokers.
and still learn the strategies they teach in the next course. All the strategies I teach, all the software that I use, like I said, the proprietary chart train indicator and all of my indicators are actually going to work on stocks as well. Uh, yes, Earl, if you could just send an email to support at majorleaguetrading.com and let them know. Um, you know, just let them know that on the first, you can send us another one and just send them, send us one now. And then when you're ready to start, send me another one just so I can keep track of it. Yep, Mark, there's an option to join our live trading room for $7, which you will be able to see um, me when, I, when I'm trading. You'll be able to see me actually live trade the ES. So swing we're from four hundred to eight hundred thousand dollars worth of notional value in the ES futures market. Okay, on with the course though. Support at majorleaguetrading.com is the email. Earl. Any other questions? All right, guys, I appreciate your time and uh, look forward to having all of you guys in my program as well as my uh, my trade room. You guys are definitely going to get a lot of information out of this. Had a, I've had a lot of really good feedback out of all of the courses I offer. This seems to be the one where people just tell me, hey, man, thanks for uh, showing me this product. I learned a lot of information and uh, I'm doing really well. This is this is the full package. There's a seven dollar trial if you'd like to watch our live trading room. You're gonna get the morning trade plan with the package. If you want to watch me trade live in the room, like I said, I trade anywhere between four hundred to eight hundred thousand dollars of notional value. And then if you would like to buy, I have an indicator package with four other indicators that I've developed, and that includes this. Now this is, I mean, all those indicators are lifetime. That includes the Nadex lines it includes charge trade grid leg level starts I can show you what they all are so let me go to the ES grid if you have a question on those so this is my main instance here this includes actually a lot of the studies that is that 197 if that's what you're curious about so this is what I will be trading with for those of you guys who decide to take the room trial this is what you'll see during the day and these are all all of these are custom studies I have what's called the MLT swing marks and the MLT leg starts what the MLT swing marks do is they actually mark the high candlestick before every three bar continuation and then we also mark and you can see up here I have the last high the previous high the last low the previous low these are all intraday things that I'm looking at I watched 
the top line figures tell me which tell me which market is the strongest, which is the weakest. Then we are looking at the tick chart. These are all extra custom indicators that you're welcome to buy, and uh, you'll see them in my trade room. The, the indicators are all going to work. The indicators are all going to work on Thinkorswim, which we provide with you. There's no cost to the actual uh, basic software of Thinkorswim or, or any licensing fees. It's just um, our indicators are custom coded. I hired a computer scientist to do them, so there's cost involved with the custom indicator codes that I've personally created. You cannot find them anywhere else. My computer cannot find support at majorleaguetrading.com. Um, your computer might have some problems because I it should be able to find that support at majorleaguetrading.com is uh, that's our email so if you, any guys use Thinkorswim that's the one I talked about the one that uh, Tom Sawznoff created the indicators are all going to mesh with Thinkorswim Does the current indicator with the course work with TradeStation? No. Do you pay f monthly fees with TradeStation? Yes, free real-time thinkorswim feeds. I have like $10 in this account. I don't trade with it. I just use it for charting. Any of you guys who are dropping $100 of data a month, I encourage you to look into this. Learn more about it. We do a whole software platform tutorial in the course. Um, the, what I'll do is I'll actually occasionally trade the Japanese market, the NKD. Um, you know, the Forex market is kind of a more of a middle of the night thing. You can definitely use these strategies on the Forex market. I actually used to trade them a lot on the 6E. However, I just don't anymore because I don't like waking up at 2 a.m. to trade the Forex markets when they're most active. But yes, I know plenty of traders who do apply this stuff. I have a friend who actually only trades the Aussie dollar, the British pound, and the euro dollar and he uses the strategy that I taught him like four years ago On the on the indicators, 30 days. You can use the indicators 30 days, risk free, money back guarantee on the indicators. If that if you decide to buy the indicators. I mean, Anthony, if you want, I don't know if you can send me a message or Anthony, if you want to email in your phone number. I could uh, I could talk to you on the phone if you're interested in that. But yeah, if if Earl, if you uh, wanted to buy those indicators, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee. You can you know if you don't like them, you don't want to keep them. So that. I got no problem with that if you know if you're not satisfied I'm not gonna hold you for what it's hold you for it we have uh, we're, we're, we're an open and honest company and we're totally ethical if somebody is not satisfied and uh, they really feel like they didn't get value you know we have no problem returning your money Well, what you just mentioned about Forex, are you saying that your friend trades something like your charge trade strategy in Forex? So the charge trade, I would not use in Forex um, because it has to do with gaps, right? So 
gaps in forex. There's no real central forex market standard time. Like the the S and P is open at 8:30 at least central standard time. So that's why I use that chart trade. But the other trades associated. So there's like the chart trade we talked about here today. Now there's a few other ones. The flunk, uh, the dive, and the bully. Those are going to be good ones. The halfway back is going to be a good one to use in forex. Um, the the flunk and the dive are going to be like breakout retest strategies that are mathematical based on Fibonacci sequences that you'll be able to actually go ahead and those on Forex. But the, the six setups within the strategy, you'll be able to use those on Forex. I probably would not go about using the MLT charge trade on Forex because, like I said, the gaps are, you know, Forex is kind of a global market. There's no consensus on when does a Forex market open, when does it close uh, on a daily basis. But that one can be used in stocks, uh, U.S. base equities. Okay, Anthony. I'll. Uh, I don't see the purchase information, but I will. Uh, I'll. Ha I'll have my guys look for it. All right, guys, well, I'm going to leave this offer up for the next uh, 24 hours. So for those of you guys who are still debating, that's fine. If you have any questions, once again, email support at Major League Trading. I know, you know, this is something you want to think about. But like I said, you know, if, if you're really, truly unsatisfied, you know, we, we do do returns and whatnot. So it's not it's not a big deal if, if you're unsatisfied with it. You want to purchase it and uh, you're unsatisfied. But you'll learn a ton from just being in the trade room. Um, I'll tell you right now, I will not be there tomorrow. I'm going camping with my girlfriend. But all next week, I'll be in the trade room trading live. You guys will be able to see that and ask your questions. It's it's a lot of value, and uh, we have a great community and a lot of really good traders in there. But uh, appreciate everything, and thank you guys for your time. I know you guys' time is valuable, and uh, thanks for thanks for listening to me. I hope you guys get a lot out of our course. And once again, you know, the email's up above, and uh, when I'm in the trade room, I like I said, I'll not be there tomorrow, but Monday I will be there. I look forward to seeing you guys. Support at MajorLeagueTrading.com, Anthony. That is correct. Okay, Thomas. Thank you. Yeah, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. All right, guys. Uh, you know, I think my time's up here. And uh, once again, I want to thank uh, Cyber Trading University and Fosto and all Josh, Greg for having me here. Really appreciate you guys come on and talk about my strategy and my program. Uh, and uh, look forward to working with all of you who have decided to take that leap of faith and to MLTNADEX.com. Once again, NADEX.com, 97 bucks. And then if you'd like to go ahead in the trade room, trial, uh, $7 for a month. So watch me trade live. Pretty cool. All right, guys. Everyone, enjoy your evening. Thank you so much.